How you going guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Today's job is a 12M greater circle. So the circle on the grater is what the blade is attached to. It allows the, the blade to be spun around under the machine for doing trimming, for doing whatever they need to do on a job site. Mainly find these size graters on civil sites and uh, mainly roads, not really a mining machine. The circle is mounted underneath the machine. Uh, the blade attaches to this. This is also mounted to a big A-frame. It has a big ball socket up on the end of the machine at the front tyres. Then it has two cylinders on the back to lift and lower the blade. Then they can rotate the blade into whatever position they want to. So there is a hydraulic motor gearbox and a gear or sprocket up this end that actually controls where the circle goes to. So essentially this is just a really big sprocket and the drive motor and gearbox up this end with the other sprocket on it works on the inside. And because they don't use the full circle of the grader, they only sort of use the front four or five segments, they do get worn out a lot. So part of the routine maintenance on a circle is it has a heap of guides that work on the inside of the A-frame, which hold pressure against the circle to hold it in the center of the machine. Being that it missed its maintenance, it got worn out very, very quickly. Uh, the sprocket was near non-existent when the customer got it back to their workshop to pull it down to have it repaired. A lot of stuff got worn away. The customer does have to replace all the guides and all the shims. Uh, they do have to replace the sprocket. They can't do this particular part of the job, so I'm gonna do it for them. We're gonna cut the old segments out, fit some new ones up and weld them back in. So these are our new sprocket segments. They come four and two half teeth. So what you do is you align them up to where the original ones were. You slot through the middle of that tooth, cut all the way back through here, and take it out uh, to, to the end of the segment there until you get it to match up nicely with the next one. So when it comes to doing a set of segments on a grader, it, it does take a little bit of skill and a lot of thinking. You can't just cut these out and whack some new ones in there and hope for the best. The teeth spacing has to be spot on, otherwise the sprocket, the new sprocket won't actually mesh. So we're gonna get into marking out our segments. So we need to mark out what we need to cut away, we then need to be very careful on how we put the new segments back in. We need to make sure the offset of the teeth are right, the pitch is right. We do need to take a lot of measurements across the circle to get an average of how big it is at the moment to make sure we don't shrink it. Um, if you do get it wrong and the teeth are slightly out of alignment, it will bind. Um, nine times out of ten, they will bind up and not spin any further, which can cause damage to the machine. So it's critical we get that part right. We've done a lot of these, we've never had a drama before. So we're gonna get into marking it out and start cutting.
for miles to come out. Righto guys, so we finished the grinding for the first segment position. It's always best to leave a little bit of material in there. Um, it's easier to take it out than it is to put it back. So I like to rough cut it to within a couple of mil, and then I will actually grind it so the segment fits perfectly back in the position it belongs in. So I've done all the grinding now, I've just I'm just about to tack it. I've measured my offsets, so my teeth and everything are in the right, in the right place. We use this jig. This jig is actually the right profile, the right pitch and the right shape of the teeth. So it's a good way to get a perfect alignment on the teeth. So I've just got that clamped in place. I'm gonna go ahead and tack this. I've then got to measure this other end. There is a bit of a gap here. So I will have to pull that in with a clamp, measure my offset and tack that one in place as well. Sell some stickers. Ooh, a bait launcher. <laughs> Ooh, a big bait launcher. His and hers, sand seed. Ooh, I very think. cool. Thank you, Aaron. Yes, thank you. Something for our office. Right, okay. Oh, 
Oh, how cool! It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh yeah, screw gun. That's very cool.
Ça va Very good. So <laughs> you want to know what it's off, what it does on the machine, and why we're fixing it. How's the lighting? Good. Do I look great? Yes. Right. Ready? Being that, um... Fuck. Said it started. I lost it. I'm just going to start again. Oh my god. Righto. Hey you going guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Today's job is a 12M grader circle. So a grader is... Fucking track. What? So a grader is... Like a what? I didn't say what a grader is. You were going, so a grader is... No, a circle is. So, a grader is... We need to replace a heap of se segments on it. Yep. <laughs> so it can be, you know, put on angles and then they can... Um, it missed... <clears throat> Uh, to marking out what we need to cut away for the new set. set uh, fuck it. Uh, we've done many of these. Yeah, let's fuck whatever. <laughs> let's do it. So we're going to stop fucking around and do it. I've got no fucking light here. That's his shit. Yeah. Looks good. Uh, we've got the jig set set up in there, so we've got the right teeth off. Oh, 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 fuck. Now that everything's in place, um, well, um, fuck. I'm fucking. <laughs> fuck <'em. laughs> so set up some stickers. Daniels. <laughs> Brother. I'm touching off, I'm just dark. Missing hit my fucking self in the finger. Fucking <laughs> level to me. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. Drop. 